G'day, welcome to another Aussie homesteading video. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about chick starter. What to start your baby chicks off in their first really four weeks, most importantly, because you're going to need to be making sure that they have a small consistency to be eating. And as they're getting older, um, you, you can give them bigger and bigger um, little bits that they can actually manage to swallow. Um, however, what I'm going to be showing you is how you can make your own. Um, it's not that this is that expensive, but when you're looking at a lot of chicks, yes, it can be. Um, and maybe not in the first week, but once they're getting to two, three, even four weeks and you're still feeding this, um, they can go through quite a bit. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's got everything in there that they nutritionally need. Um, and they definitely grow into big, fat, healthy chickens. However, it's also just as nutritionally beneficial. Um, oh, oh, I should say as well, these chicken crumbles come in either medicated or unmedicated. Um, that's up to you. I'm not going to tell you which one you should be using. Um, so I thought I should mention that. But making that at home, I've just taken bits that uh, the, our adults chicken eat, uh, chickens eat. So we've got some wheat, sunflower seeds, a little bit of layers pellets, and some already some crushed corn. So what I'm gonna do is simply just put it into a container. Now what you need to do is um, bar mix it. Now you can use a, any food grinder that you've got, whether it be a, an actual blender, or um, like for any fruit food processor or even coffee meal. I have used that in the past uh, when we were in the process of moving once and I couldn't find my actual food processor so or my bar mix or anything. So I ended up using the coffee grinder because that's the first thing I could find. Um, and even by making this, minimum you can mix it in with the crumble and at least expand your... Um, product making it last a bit longer um, and aside from that when the baby chicks are actually getting older um, this is what I would be using for them once they're getting to the four five six weeks you've just it's still being bar mixed and it's still crushed but there's some bigger bits in that so they're learning to start to eat bigger and I have the reason I've always done this is because when you're going straight from crumbles and you even take them to eight weeks on this crumble and then you introduce wheat, corn, sunflower seeds in a hole, it's all of a sudden a little bit much for them to eat. So um, I've always, to introduce them to what you're eating as a, an adult chicken, um, I've always just crushed it up a little bit anyway. So I've made this for our pullets that we've got at the moment. Um, but yeah, what I'm gonna do right now is make, bl blend this up as, fine as I possibly can get it and then we'll add this jar of chicken crumble to it and we'll mix it up and that's what we'll be feeding our 24 hour old chicks that just hatched. So here we go. And the reason I do it in this container with a bar mix is just because you end up with so much splatter as it's coming about and I just put my hands here and it helps hold it in. Obviously you use whatever um, tools you've got at hand. And we'll just come back to you when it's done so you don't have to sit here watching it all grind up. Okay, I'm going to call this as processed as my eyes can see. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to use one of your strainers and as you can see we've just taken it all to a, a very thin powder. So let's just run this through because um, at this stage especially for the first week um, you just want to avoid any bigger bits <coughs> and you're just going to see all those you know bits are going to come through. 
and any of the bigger parts that I've missed in here I'll just chuck them in with the pullets lot and that'll be enough so once I've um, sieved this through um, I'll come back to you just getting to the last bits now and the whole benefit of this as well is if you're looking a survival situation for your preppers or you know you can't forget your animals as well so by having all these grains on hand as you you know the more in bulk the more you save etc and then you can make um, your own starter feed as well without having to fork out a lot of money for the crumble um, all at once to have a massive bulk so you could easily do a couple of years worth of grain um, more so than a couple of years worth of crumble you're going to significantly save a lot of money so these bigger bits you don't want to be giving them to baby chicks they just come into the pullet mix which is perfect for your pullets or your, any, your little teenagers well really what I'm calling this size grain I would happily be giving an eight week onwards 12 weeks would be a good size for them to start up and it's up to the individual chicks you can watch the way they're eating now this powdered um, really it really is powder honestly it feels like flour it's that far uh, milled so that's wonderful that's exactly what we were looking for now into the container I'm just going to put this jar of crumble and the powdered grains and we'll put the lid on and give it a shake and that's what our little chicks will be eating I mean depends how I, at the moment I've got eight chicks so however long you want to say that lasts I don't know it depends sometimes you, you can end up with one or two chicks that are absolute little piggies as well but um, I mean I'd say that it'll easily be two to three weeks worth of food I generally feed them three times a day as well um, but I'll do a video about how to take care of chickens um, another time so thanks for watching this um, and I mean really all of us want to save money anywhere that we can and this just helps expand your chicken crumbles so um, yeah catch you in the next video thanks for watching if you have any questions um, ask in the comments below um, and if you haven't subscribed to subscribe yet hit subscribe to catch more of our videos and I'll see you in the next video thanks bye